Development tonight on the pedestrian bridge that some say is a bridge too far. Many locals are concerned about the cost. News Channel 5 Sarah McCarthy joins us from the project site. Sarah, and some of those who have concerns will be the ones who will have the final say. Some officials are concerned about the cost of this project. Now, if you look over here, you can see where this pedestrian bridge will go. It'll go directly over these railroad tracks, connecting Pine Street and the Gulch to an easement that sits next to Cummins Station. But some say pedestrian access here already exists. Um, so it feels like Nashville is alive. In a place growing in popularity. It actually creates a better, like, more active lifestyle. Access is key. It's really wonderful to be able to walk down to the Gulch for lunch options or just like running an errand. A new pedestrian bridge may soon make it even easier to get where you need to go. But it'll come at a cost. I mean, everybody would love $18 million worth of improvement in their neighborhood. Yes, is this yes. elevator? Yeah. That's why members of Metro's Budget and Finance Committee met with Public Works to see how a newly proposed plaza would come into play. It's $18 million, and then $2.6 comes out of the $18 million to pay for the, for the easement. Uh, so you're starting out to pay for a bridge with really like 14 and a half to 15 million dollars. Is that enough to buy the right bridge? I would say that seems a little bit excessive. For some, the cost raises questions about necessity. A staircase parallel to the Gulch Crossing building has improved pedestrian access here in the last year. I'm listening for the administration to justify that specific question. I just take the sidewalk, come down here and it's nice to get from across the railway to here as opposed to walking one block that way and that way or blocking that way and back. I mean, this is $18 million we could use in other places in the city that desperately need it. While city engineers say traffic may be dangerous and sidewalks are crowded, others say this proposed bridge could be a solution and a step in the right direction. I think the more that we can increase biking and walking, you're going to help cut down a bit on the traffic. Um, just a matter of doing it in a harmonious way. Council members will vote on the second reading of this proposal tomorrow night. It will need to pass three readings to move forward. We're live in the Gulch, Sarah McCarthy, News Channel 5.